Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're doing another uh, MT MTG Arena Historic Cube Sealed, not to be confused with Draft. Uh, I'm definitely playing Resplendent Angel because that card is bonkers. Archon of Sun's Grace, that card's bonkers. Elspeth is a Planeswalker. Castalia, <sighs> if we don't have a lot of spells. I like God's Willing. The Thalia. Sorry, what? There's a Thalia. No, I don't follow. Do you not like Thalia? I don't know what you're saying right now. It's a very good card. Just stop it, please. It's in many decks. Please stop. He won't stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. All right. Your hate for Thalia too strong? This black, <laughs> this black doesn't look great here, and this red doesn't look great here. Uh, Red's looking better now, actually, with these guys. Phoenix is good. Warboss is good. Ilharg, Chandra. There's also a Lightning Strike, which is these. There's also a, <coughs> a Lightning Strike. It would just, I like I like Enter the God Eternals. There's a Croxa. Oh, there's a Croxa. There's also that Sacred Foundry and Temple of Plenty. Let's put this in there. Palukrinos. Oh, I do like a Palukrino, a Paluki. Stone Cold Serpent. That's just uh, an auto include. Treasure Map. It's a good one. And Spear. Treasure Map and Spear are both very good. Rasky. Let's just be let's be Mardu. Being a hound, these fixing lands. Yeah, it's probably not worth playing. Karaksa. Uh, I don't know if I like that card. What does that card do? Uh, it's just two two menace for two, but at the beginning of each up, at the beginning of your upkeep, each player draws a card and loses a life. I don't want to give them cards, you know. This, this, this. Phoenix war boss. I laugh the loudest. Who'd have known? I got this song stuck in my head. One day Michael B will be dead. I don't know when. Probably I was looking for it. I'm like, I can't find it. Fight yeah. with fire is probably fine. What does this do? Two Think damage? Shock's better in the board. In the board? Yeah. What what board? Oh, we don't get a sideboard. Yeah, best, best of one, one my yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. God damn it. I keep trying to click this friggin' card. Yeah, that's good. Who's your opponent with this guy? That's or, good too. Yeah. yeah, that guy is actually good too. Their creatures aren't gonna play tap. Harmonious Archon, are you good? Making three threes. Making three threes. Definitely think you should be playing with Thalia. You should be playing Thalia. You, you. We have, like, not that many spells. What? Are you serious right now? How many spells we got? We have 11 creatures. Three, four, five, six. We have eight spells. We literally have... It's like 50-50, Michael. Yeah, but she'd be real good. I don't think she's that good. I'd rather play a Danto Vanguard. What about Legion's Or Landing? Daxos. Legion's Landing? I don't feel like this is an aggressive deck, my dude. Okay. Thank you. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I mean, we're playing Mardu. Untrimmed Tuna, how are you going to gift this many subs tonight? This is unreal. I really appreciate you, my friend. You don't want to play Ember Boy? You are freaking awesome. Breaky for the utility? I just don't feel like there's that many artifacts either. Okay. What about this? The beginning again, so if you attack with a creature, real top card you'll ever put it in your hand. Let's just basically Dark Confidant. Let's look at our deck and see what our curve looks like. Two drops would be nice here. I was like, tell you. Is Ephemia the Cacophony any good? How many in, how many enchantments do we even have? Like none right no, now? Stone Zero. I think you're right. I think you're right, mate. I think Knight of Heaven Legion is just very, very good. I think Modern Cube is coming. It's coming this Wednesday. <laughs> Rune Raider is Rob. Ruin Raider? I think that's a black card. Oh, I thought Robber of the Rich was Rob. You didn't someone make a meme with his face on it? I did. Oh, you did. Jeez. Oh, you are someone. So I guess you're like, I guess I'm right. Did they put a cube card? I have no idea. Also, sealed so it doesn't really matter too much. You're not like drafting them. Who? That doesn't make sense. I didn't. I didn't talk about a person. <laughs> Who? Grandpa, it's time to take your medicine. Where am I? I think you should play that card. What? The drawly boy. This one? Yeah, it seems good. I mean, like, how much are we gonna hit that? Like, I don't want to take like fifteen damage. Small price to pay for power. <laughs> you, you might say greatness at any cost. You might say that. Your green looks better than black, but our green fixing is not better than our black fixing, especially because we have 
these two. Yeah. I mean, we do have a temple, I guess. What's our green? What do we got good? Uh, Dryad's real good. That card's very mm. good. All right, let's take a look at our black. Our green, you mean? That's what I meant. Shut up. Man, we don't get Croxa, though. That's sad. No, All right. I look. definitely play 10D Shoot. What does this do? Whenever it or another creature comes out, that this fights up to one creature. That's actually not bad. That seems pretty good. Vivian is probably too much for a three color <clears throat> deck. Put a Temple of Plenty in there. Isn't that other green card good? I don't know. This one. Uh yeah, that actually is pretty good. Keeper's not bad. Whenever one or more non-human creatures <coughs> go combat damage, draw a card. <coughs> Uh, the problem with Legion's Landing is I don't know how consistently we're going to be attacking with three creatures, Mark. Whenever opponent casts an instant or sorcery, what make a 1-2? Total 3-5 with reach, which is fine. Yeah, I guess. Swordtooth is meh. This guy's good. You're not great. You're all right. Yeah, I don't think our green's worth it. Yeah, I don't think our green looks that good, well, actually. Well, we also have those three cards. What three cards? These? Yeah. But we're not black anymore. Oh, right. I guess we're getting Helm of the Host in every draft. Not great. Is it good, though? Maybe it's good. You put on, like, a Lyra. I don't know if it's that bad. Yeah, but also, Archon's not great, because we talked about how we didn't have any friggin' enchantments, so. But it's a 3-4 with lifelink for 4. Oh, wow. Tell me more. It's really the, all you need to know. Mm, I think our black's stronger. I do, too, actually. And it's also And we get Croxa. And we get Sur Suburberus. Yeah. Suburbi McMurby. Working at the car wash. Any consider for Jun nonsense? Uh, well, then we lose Elspeth and Angel. No, I think our white is pretty good. God's Willing is also a very good trick. Also, I don't think our green is good. So, like, I, I like... Uh, does Rune Blaster kill any land, or is it just non-basics? Just non-basics. Okay, never mind. Oh, Josu was in. Uh, Erebos Intervention was in. Good, like, Plague Crafter. I don't like Plague Crafter. Like, there's so many tokens. Okay. Pacifism is actually probably fine. Yeah, I'd probably play that. What else is in here? Um, Two Flyers, Dece. Knight of Heaven Legion was great. What's, what was Dece? The Spirit. This dude. This player. guy, Ronsal yeah. Clerk? Really? Yeah, it's decent. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes. What about the five drop? Or six drop? This guy? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Six mana, though. Yeah, but we got Boar. What about Venerated Loxodon? Actually, really Boar's not bad, because like it turns... Well, then this guy becomes a 3-3. Three, three. True. Yeah, maybe it's not good. I don't know. Uh, Archon is great, but we only have one enchantment in the deck, so I don't think it's actually that good. We literally just have passivism. It might just be worth it for the stats. Also, if we go Resplendent Angel into Elspeth, gain five life, like we automatically make a five five, which is pretty sweet. That's very good. That's what's known as a combo. <coughs> Mage play Vanguard as the last card. Adonta Vanguard? Yeah. I kind of like Electro Dominance. It is like a fireball. Yeah, let's actually play that. That seems yeah, great. Yeah, it's probably worth it. All right, what is it? Six, seven, five, six, seven, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm fine with that, actually. We're mostly red, I think. So I'm gonna take out one black. Yeah, we for don't one have any white. black cards. Yeah, that's gonna do it. Look at this. Yeah, that's good. Oh, let's do, let's do a for bloop. And we'll put you. All right, let's do it. Spook it. I didn't see Archon before. Archon is bonkers. I already read that. I was responding to that. Oh. I actually think... Yeah, Alan, I actually think... Uh, 
icing is, is just fine. I'm gonna smell this hot sauce again. I like smelling hot sauces. Oh man, it's so good, dude. Fucking love mustard. Mustard Sally. Uh, this is an interesting hand. I don't hate it. I mean, it's turn one, two, three. I think it's yeah, actually it's fine. Really, yeah. Treasure map will smooth yeah. out your draws. <laughs> wow. Wow. I do love mustard. Taking hits off the hot sauce pipe again. Hey, buddy. You're going to get me demonetized from Twitch. Demonetized from Twitch. Is that a thing? That's not, that's not really what you're looking for. It's not what I'm looking for, no. I don't want to get that. That doesn't exist. That's not how that works. You don't you get exist. get banned from Twitch. What's the difference? They have different meanings, okay? Don't talk to me about mayonnaise. What? I don't care if they have different mayonnaise, Michael. Drawing a white was pretty good. I guess drawing a swamp would be better, but... You know what's even better? Drawing a turtle. I don't know if a turtle would help us here. Where are the turtles? If it was that new turtle that you could cycle, that'd be good. I'll cycle your turtle, Michael. That uptime is definitely wrong. We cut out once. So. We cut out. Have they exiled three of our cards? A thousand biddies. So you can butter your jam while hitting the hot sauce. Don't tempt me, buddy. I'll do it. Remember that time we had swamps in our deck? Me too. Oh yeah, make that token. Oh yeah. You gotta attack this turn. Do what you gotta do. Get off the sauce. I can't tank that joke. That's true. You nailed it. Frank, is that Scotch Bonnet? Let's find out. Chris, you know it is, buddy. <coughs> yeah, it's actually delicious. It's got that made that that mustard flavor that I'm looking for, but it's got also got a little bit of sweetness to it. Yeah, it's not overly mustardy either. There were like two other mustard sauces I've tried. One was the like the pirates mustard sauce. Um, all right, we don't have. That's fine. I'll just take two. And both of them tasted a little too mustardy. Yeah, that was my problem with the other ones. This one though is like just mustardy enough. That's all I want. TBP. I don't know what TBP is. You know what it is. I don't actually, that's why I asked. You fucking know, Michael. Oh, Trailer Park Boys. Yeah, that's a good one. You think they got a seal away? Because they always do. I haven't seen any of the more recent uh, seasons, but the old seasons are fantastic. Do you know Letterkenny was like in like eight seasons or seven seasons or something? Oh, is that that far? Enough? I didn't think it was that old. Yeah, neither did I. I thought it would be in like season three. Oh, it's a very Trailer Boy esque show. That's why I brought. Yeah, that's why I mentioned it. I heard someone say that the newer seasons aren't as good, but I'll still probably check them out. I'm gonna end my turn. Also, rest in peace. No, man, this is Remorseful Clerk. It's similar because oh, wow. they both exile all the graveyards, but... Two seasons came out in one year? I don't understand. Did everybody watch Target King? Yeah. You did, yeah. Very entertaining. Come at me. I'll block now. It's my turn. It's now or never. 
don't think I care about this guy that much. I think we're just gonna kill this thing. It's my life. Tiger King feels like a made-up show, but it's actually a documentary. It's real nuts. You got trample? All right, everybody's coming in then. Let's go. Everybody's coming in. Let's go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feeling good. They reopened the case to find Kara's husband this last week. Wow. Yeah, you didn't know that. I did not. I, I did not. I feel like we're in good shape. You know what? Typical millennial bullshit. That's what that is, Michael. Feeling like we're in good shape? Yeah. Huh. Got him. Okay, boomer. It's my mic. Hot take, Bon Jovi is not very good. Dang. I have to agree. Dang. A lot of haters in the audience. What does he do? Gain life with under creatures control plus our planes are so four. <coughs> okay, that's what they're gonna do. Friendship feeds the soul. Do you talk about friendship? Is he like the Milo Pony of Tiger King is what it's like living in the west side of my town? I think I already knew this, but Under oh, Tuna is definitely no, a Florida no. resident, yes. Correct. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna Michael be? Floor represent. Yeah, okay. I like Florida, but it do be crazy. Um, one, two, three. It's Mac. B. You okay, man? Yes. What are you laughing at, man? You know what I'm laughing about. I have no idea. I'm ready to get my move on, honestly. What do you think about moving to? My dad's house. I wasn't asking you, Frank. Also, I don't think that's true. Why would you tap that? Why wouldn't you tap one of the three mountains I have? Because now we're going to draw, like, the response. I'm so, I'm so mad. Are you still on the bottom of that? Yeah, because I can't cast it. Well, that's worse. But in the future. There is no future. There's no gamble and there's no future, Michael. <laughs> there's no gamble or no future? You're You're in a bad shape. You don't got reach either? Okay, cool. Florida, where people will rob a Wendy's with an alligator. I'll rob a Wendy's with an alligator. Seattle, New York City, or a rally? Those seem like good choices. We're getting it. We're doing it, my dudes. I actually saw a video of a, a lady with a pet alligator and it was actually pretty adorable. They got a one here? God, I wish I could fight with fire their face. Am I gonna give a pro red? You're welcome to do so. One, they're gonna gain one. Okay.
You okay, man? I'm a little tired. You can see him falling asleep as we as we go. Oh wow. I'll go to eighteen. You think they got a Wrath of God effect? They got fumigate. Hotly. Gain life field with greatest. Oh wow, that's nice. What is this life gain dot deck they're playing over here? If you had an alligator on a leash, you could throw it into a drive through window and then reel it back in and keep whatever the gator bit onto. That's, that's thinking. Remember when corn had a freak on a leash? <laughs> Wow. What? That quote was pretty funny. Strength. Our true strength lies in our friendships, Michael. That's so cookie cutter. Yeah, I mean, like, this game would have been completely different if we had the Resplendent Angel because uh, if they tapped the non friggin' planes card first. Okay, when I hover over it, it's going to tap a mountain. Sure. I don't know why it didn't do that before. This dude flips. So now we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can actually Josu Vest next turn for like a million. That's kind of cool. I think this might win us the game. Because they can't get the six gets through, and then these are all two. So yeah, I think that's it. Oh, the freak is harder to reel back through the drive through window. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. And porn, that was certainly a man. You are West Borland? I guess he was in Limp... Was he in Limp Bizkit? Yeah, he was a Limp Bizkit guy. I'm not good with names. <laughs> not good with names, Michael? You're not good with math? What are you good at, man? I said I'm good at math, like high level math stuff. High level math is what you're good at. Like what? Well, like mid level. I don't know. Like, like equations. Like, like what? You, like you give me an equation, I could probably solve it. Probably? Yeah. You don't even know. Smoky, look at your 2020 bits. An offering to the gods of 2020 to let us live. <laughs> Wait, in real life or in the game? Because I feel like either one of them is, uh,. Fred Durst is Limp Bizkit guy, but Wes Bor Borland was their was their their highly popular bassist. He always used to dress in sweet costumes. Like he was pretty he's wild. A guitar there, man. What? Looks like a guitar, not a bass. Is he? Maybe he is their guitarist. Yeah, guitarist. Interesting. Could have sworn he was the bassist. Look at these wild outfits, though, man. They're pretty wild. <laughs> We're not showing the stream, though. What? Yeah, I know. That's fine. Just Google friggin' West Borland and you'll see. You'll know. You'll know. Remember when Vanilla Ice had a home renovation show? I actually do remember that. Does he not anymore? He might still. Did they fire him from his own home renovation show? Who's more well-known, Olympus or Leonard Skinner? Probably Leonard Skinner. I would imagine. He's been around longer and popular longer. Me too. Mm. Feeling like a freak. What if I did like a Richard Cheese version of all the corn songs? And I just sang them real real softly. That'd be weird, man. No way, really? You think Limp Bizkit's higher than... Thank you! Feeling oh. like a freak on a leash. PC Vogel, thank you so much for your resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. What is this? Taranaka. Uh, three of the originals. Whenever it attacks, untap another creature you control. That creature gets base power and toughness. Four four. Lynn Biscuit is a voice of the, is a voice of a generation. Uh, hmm. Leonard Skinner is a voice of a generation. I feel like he's memeing. I still, I do think Limbiscuit was definitely notoriously popular. 
Yeah, I mean, Sweet Home Alabama is still on radio stations to this day. So is Tuesday's Gone. Tuesday's Gone was the theme song for a TV show, right? Wasn't that the Wonder Years theme song? Tuesday's Gone. You know Limp Bizkit's song when you hear it? I think the same thing with Leonard Skinner. Though, I right? do feel the same way, yeah. I, Clint, Clint, I think, Clint, Clint, I'm not gonna call you Clint. Aunt Drew, I think, you're, I think you're making good points. I just think they're also relevant to, to Leonard Skinner. You don't have reach, right? I guess I don't care. Everyone requests Freebird. Nobody requests Nookie or Break stuff. <laughs> We've been in this battle for a while. Thanks for siding with me, guys. <laughs> Undrum Tuna, what side are you on? Whose side are you on, well, Undrum the Tuna? Side. The what? The Skinner side. That's what I thought, too. Like, don't get me wrong, Link Biscuit is pretty popular, but I think overall Skinner is probably more popular. Our deck is doing, doing work. I'm loving it. Definitely not Limp. If what you know you what I mean. Though? Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. What? <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to hear free right anymore, but you ain't mad when you hear break stuff. I'm the exact opposite of what you just said. Yeah, I feel the same way. Oh, they got rid of my thing. Smokey Loki with the 861 bits. Undoubtedly the last bits you have, I'm sure. Fair. <laughs> Unescapable was Linkin Park. Anywhere you were, I was like, crawling in. And I, I still love Linkin Park. They're a nostalgia band for me because they were like when I was growing up, you know. Yeah, that was the that was a band of your generation, man. Yeah, for sure. I remember the uh, you and know when what? there was the phase where everyone hated them again, but now everyone's like, oh wait, they're still they're still good. I think when Chester Bennington died, who were like more appreciated. All right, man, yeah. that's cool. To be honest, though, these wounds they will not heal. <laughs> Also, I actually like their their more recent stuff, too. <laughs> you know when someone lost the battle, they reply with fair. Fair. Let's six this guy. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, Smokey Lucky with 19 more bits. I reached a character limit for chat. <laughs> Mujul, how goes your new music hunt? Uh, the only one that was really recommended that I enjoyed was New Jobbies, which I've heard it before. I just never put on my songs list for some reason. I don't know what he's saying right now. What does it say? Can't attack creature without flying. Can't attack or block, and I can't activate its abilities. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Yeah, Chad, if you want to recommend some stuff, feel free. Oh, you're 2-3 now. Yeah, I guess these guys are just... I'm generally open to anything but country music. Oh, they just lose. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. Yeah, we're going to tap 4, 5. All right. Listen to Kesha's new album. You ever heard Kesha? She's catchy. Okay. Mike, check out Turnover. They're one of my favorite... Mike's favorite food is a turnover. It's not true. What was a maple bar turnover? Bands? I do like some shoegaze. I, I I do too. I could I just want to zone out to some turnover. shoegaze. Turnover. I'm gonna put that on the list. Like an apple turnover, Michael. It's a band. It's a. Oh, turnover is great though. Wow. Has Mike ha Mike ha have you right here? Ophelof. What Ophelof said? Did you check those Hold out? On. Okay. I'm googling turnover so I don't forget. Oh, this seems great. Turn two Crocs into turn three Phoenix. <laughs> I recommend Limp Bizkit's rendition of Break Stuff, the classic Beethoven song. <laughs> Limp Bizkit, wow. Mike, have you checked out? Nope, not, re not reading the rest of that sentence. <laughs> Dang it! I was like, let's see if we can get him. What's your favorite band, Mike? Uh, favorite band? That's tough.
I have a problem with narrowing down favorites because I like so many different genres and stuff. Like, it's really hard to pick a favorite. Oh boy. Oh, Philo, nice try. I know that one too. Not gonna get me with that one either. <laughs> you, you don't listen to D's or Sugma? <laughs> There's some really good Norwegian metal bands, dude. Alright, just don't have a stupid enchantment, I guess. God, everyone has the same cards. That's my biggest problem with this this format. What are you currently listening to a lot of? Um, well, I generally I have... I paid the money for the premium Pandora. And... So I have a like I just listened to a bunch of random different bands, but uh, if I were to go like rap groups, my favorite rap group is Immortal Technique. Uh, Sounds old. They're, no, he's still around. Well, they're immortal, Michael. So wow. how do you know how old they are? Nice try, Hossmania. Not gonna do that one either. <laughs> You love Immortal Technique? Nice. Yeah, they're... He's real good. He's insanely, insanely good. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Early Volume 2 is a masterpiece? Yeah. He's also his most recent album. I can't remember the name of it. It was very, very good, too. And unfortunately, it's not in Pandora, which is rough. Because Eye in the Sky is really, really good. I am the eye in the sky looking at you. Yeah, I really enjoy like hip-hop. Like, I don't really like newer rap... With exceptions for like Eminem and a couple others, I like Post Malone, but he's not even really rap. So, hey Mike, say D's nuts. I just did. He really did. No blocks. I like MF Doom. Yeah, MF Doom's great. The Planeswalker, just a creature. Three, four, five, six, seven. That's Mike, do you nine? know Despot? No, I do not. Yep, this is getting worse. Aesop Rock, I haven't heard too much Aesop Rock. Have you heard my namesake? This spot is an amazing rapper who doesn't release a lot of stuff. I love him. I love him. Mike, do you know that Frank has an upstairs basement? Hmm. That's where you are right now, Michael. Wow. Okay. Well, we get to fight with fire next turn. That's kind of cool. Pew, pew, pew! Mike B, I'll get you my hip-hop playlist. It's got a lot of Aesop on it. He's my favorite. Oh, nice. Send it to him. Send it to him. Gangstar's good. Dilated People's very, very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Where's four, five, six, seven... Two, two, four, three. Why would it, why would you make this two? Come on, dude. Four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Bus driver's good. I like bus driver. I like a DJ Shadow. <laughs> I nope. don't know DJ Shadow. Shadow. DJ Shadow. 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 Shout out! Uh, one, two. So, so if I play this and make two tokens, I take two. So I'm gonna go to six here. I also love most rock, like any most rock deaf? emo alternative. I like most deaf. I like metal, uh, some metal. I like folk metal. I'm really into. He's just naming. He's just naming nonsense right now. It's not even real. I like a lot of depressing music. <sighs> <coughs> oh, 
Ophelof, I appreciate your consistency with trying to get me. Mike B, how many times have you been to the Gathering of the Juggalo? Uh, zero. Um, but I've heard it's a good time. Not really into them, but He's, yeah, I've he heard is. it's an experience. He paints his face like every other weekend. It's really weird. Kind of just want to not do anything here because I don't really want to go to four. Have you heard of the Beatles? Wow. No, who's that? I also am pretty into like more old school style punk stuff. I don't mind a few ska bands. Mike B, I bought you that Fagin and you didn't go to the Gathering of the Juggalos? Was that part of the deal? Was I supposed to do that? It seemed implied, yeah. Oh. I think it was kind of rude that you didn't go. I mean, I would go. I think it would be an excellent, weird experience. That is an excellent, weird experience. Yep, we'll go to four here. I hope I don't have to die. That would be sad. Uh, we can't gain five because they have Rampaging Ferocidon on board. I've been listening to quite a bit of Dinosaur Jr. lately. Okay, that's fine. They take another point, I guess. Oh, no, they didn't You know suck. the Dinosaur Jr.? I know of Dinosaur Jr., yeah. They're old, though. Would. Yeah, they're, they're old school. Yeah, that was like grunge era. Electro Dominance is pretty interesting. We can definitely kill this and pump this. And... Hey, Mike, check out the Animal Enemy. I love their version of Black Widow. When I hear Animal Enemy, I just hear the Cranberry song. Oh, that might be the lyrics. That might be the name of the song. I think the name of the song is Animal Instinct. Also, I do like Cranberries. Yeah, he never shuts up the about cranberries. cranberries. <laughs> not the fruit. He's like, these are delicious. Actually, not a big fan of Cranberries. Five, six, one, two... I think we're one minute shy, right? How much mana do we have? This is four here. Four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need five for this and six for this. That's unfortunate. Um, and we only have... Yeah, we're just going to pass the turn, I guess. Actually, we could negative Elspeth and get rid of her, but I don't really love that. Yeah, we'll just end the turn. Pass. I'll be there with Michael B. all day. Andrew Jackson Jihad, yeah, that's a good one. <coughs> Auto pay, sure, doesn't matter. Auto pay, you burn your throat. That's not bad. That gets us out of this mess a little bit. Why not just fucking do that first? Yeah, like, I don't know. God, you're such a fuck. Like, it's such a waste of our time. No, I'll tan you. We're not even playing blue, so there's like no argument for not just doing it. Even if we were, like, you're still doing it on the same turn, so it's like right. you're not you're not playing around <laughs> anything, like. Frustrated. <coughs> I've been around for the last couple streams. Yeah, Mike's been here for a while. Don't call it a comeback. <laughs> What's AJJ? Andrew Jackson Jihad. Are you guys Anthony Fantano watchers? Damn, boy! He's thick, boy! That's a thick-ass boy! Damn! 
You come for the meme. You stay for the good music reviews. Maybe you do. No, I think his videos are pretty good. Wait, what just happened? Who knows? Did I miss something? Probably. Did someone watching just tell me what happened? I can't tell if our opponent just conceded immediately or if we, if our match got canceled or what. <coughs> we'll never know. Well, if someone tells me, I'll know. Or if they don't. Then I won't. But then I can still just watch the VOD. I guess so. You got a draw. What? What? This hand looks great. Just looks to be gorgeous. Oh yeah, crack that thing immediately. I'm not gonna at you to justify the username, but HJ, I don't think it's really that sad. Just more depressed and sardonic. You're sardonic. Is that oh. a shark? Is that the sardonic period? <laughs> yeah, everybody knows that, Michael. I think I give me cards every turn. I'm on board. Oh, an L Smith. Uh, sacrifice an artifact. You got it, man. You got it. Also, love me some Radiohead, even when they have the weirder songs. What the fuck? Why what? is your mountain extended? <laughs> and you can't click on it? Oh, my internet's dying again, guys. Oh, cool. Internet's down. It's really down. Comcast is horseshit. OBS disconnected. And we're hoping it comes back up to do the internet. It's trash. <laughs> hoping it comes back soon the internet is trash do, 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 do. You know what my favorite thing about the internet is? Absolutely nothing. Oh, wait, result. Wait, did my turn just pass? <sighs> oh my yep. god. That's cool. Missing land drops is super cool because, and not getting to play like 2 3 that actively affects the board is just. just the coolest thing that. I'm getting real tired of the nuggets in the internet tubes. Mark, this Yadara wandering monster is actually awesome, dude. It, that is the dinosaur turtle. Dinosaur turtle every day. Sure, have your entrancing liar. Yep, just gonna play lands for the rest of the game and not really, uh,. So dumb. See, at least if it was Magic Online that crashed, I would have, like, time to do my turn. Like, I would come back in, like, two minutes, if that, and I could still do what I wanted to do. But here it's like, well... I keep getting, like, end-of-stream stats where it's like, hey, your stream is over, here are the stats. And I'm like, mm, I didn't really... I didn't really stop streaming, I just kind of... How, how doth thee pronounce liar? I pronounce it liar. Is it li... li, li it's liar, right? Cheddar cheese, Michael lives in the trash. 
Flea Ray. Oh, yeah, I'm sure that's correct. Flea Ray? Show me that Thank smile you. again. Don't waste another minute on your cry. Show me that smile again. Show me that smile. I really want another white source so I can play this Elspeth, but, you know. I like Yudara too much. I want to brew something. Dude, this set is really, like, <coughs> stirring my juices. Stirring my brew juices. <laughs> Stirring my juices? That sounds inappropriate. Just stir the juices, mm. Michael. You ready for him to play a swamp right now? So they untapped this, but then they don't have enough to tap either of my... They don't have enough to tap down this guy. So they're just going to tap him down again. Okay, that's weird. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. So now I do get an attack with this guy, and I did draw this. Now you can make him fat if you want. <laughs> you could oh, make... Gross. What? It's like a bug. Ew. Ew. Is it alive? No, I killed it. Oh, that's an earwig. Gross. Here, let me see. Put it like here. Oh, God. Did you just fling it somewhere, dude? I think I might have dropped it. How... F how, Dude, there's like one... You had, to, you had to move it six inches, man. It's right here. Oh, oh my God. He dropped his phone, too. <laughs> It's like fucking absolute butterfingers over here. Oh, drop my phone. Need a napkin? A napkin? Yeah. I have a tissue. Well, that's what I meant. Oh, okay. Cause they're not, they're not really the same, you know. You may play that card. Okay. Oh, did I get? Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm just gonna play Resplendent Angel here. Is it alive? No, it's dead. But it was on me and it was gross. Oh, God. Oh, God. Dude, I thought I'd seen enough. Dude, that's the second bug I've seen in here in two days. And I'm really, like, not okay with it. On my neck. Gross. It was on your neck? Yeah. Yeah. How did it get on your fucking neck, dude? I don't know. Oh, God, there was an earring on your fucking neck? Oh, God, I'm, like, not okay with anything that, that you're talking about right now. Oh, probably better to tell you than that. I guess. Can they fly? No, earrings don't fly. So it'll probably crawl up your entire body. Oh god. I'm looking around. Yeah, I'm so I'm so grossed out right now. Yeah, pretty much all cubes are gonna be phantom. You're never gonna see a cube that's not phantom. You're never going to be able to just draft these cards for free. It's also, this is not a draft, oh, alright. This is also not a draft format, it's a, it's a, it's a sealed format, so. Dude. It's the 4D feature of Arena Cube, wow. That's disgusting, Undrum Tuna. That is disgusting. Oh, three wins, my dude. Well, Draft Cube is coming soon to Magic Online, if that does anything for you. You're just using the bug to hide the fact that you're singing the Two and a Half Men theme song. I don't want to super be that guy, but earwigs aren't true bugs. What does that mean? Okay, w yeah, well, you're not that guy until you actually keep going. Tell me more. What do you mean as a true bug? Are they not? They have the brown exterior. They have exoskeletons, it looks like. They're crispy. <laughs> crispy. <laughs> you know, when you crunch them, man, like... Ooh, Helm of the Host. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I know, dude. I know. It's crawling in my body. Yeah. True bugs are an order of insect. What the fuck does that mean? When you eat them. Oh, Christ. Got that nice crunch, wow. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. No, don't like that. I wish I had a red mana. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a a baller. You know that song? 
Earwigs make up the insect order Dermaptera. Yeah, you want you want me to look up earwigs for you, Mike? I guess. They do like like little demons. They're fucking disgusting. I used to find these in my room in Florida a lot, like just crawling on the tile, and I have to kill them. Dude, I'm like so uncomfortable right now. Yeah, me too. Okay, I don't want to look at this anymore. I don't want to look at this anymore. I'm like actually disgusted right now. I hate seeing a bug because then it makes you feel like there's more. That's the co yeah. It's always the, it's the constant feeling, right? I agree with you. No attacks. Also, I don't know where it came from. Like. It's just, like the other day I saw a spider in the bathroom. I'm like, where are these guys coming from? Like these are the first two bugs I've seen since moving here. And I don't think I brought it from you from outside because I feel like it would have I would have felt it. Oh before. yeah, you just had it on you for three hours. Right, exactly. Four hours. If you ain't a mountain, we oh yeah, you're done. Keep it, keeping you. Draw it. Give it to me. I mean, sure, there's worse bugs to have on you, but it doesn't mean I enjoyed it. You got black widows in your house as a common pest? Silverfish are also disgusting. The difference is, like, there's bugs that are, like, not necessarily threatening, but they are fucking disgusting. And I think earwigs and silverfish both fit that criteria. Same thing with, like, millipedes and centipedes, man. Oh, uh, millipedes and centipedes freak me the fuck out. Like, I can't be in a room with one. <laughs> do, do you have that come up a lot? Do you have to be in a room with them? No, but I'm just saying. Like, they're real creepy. And I feel like it would crawl on me and I wouldn't like it. And also, like, one of them is real poisonous, so there's that too. Or venomous, or whichever one it is. Let's see if you want to activate this, dude. Do you want to sack Lanowar Elves, Priest, and Keeper of Fables? Oh, you do. Oh, you do. Also, Black Widows feel like more than a common pest because can't they kill you? <laughs> Venomous is the word, okay. Anything can kill you if you believe. <laughs> okay. Venomous bites you, you bite poisonous. Okay, that makes sense. Cool, you got it. I'm gonna line that. Yeah, Australia would be crazy. Take that helm of the host. Black widows are overall harmless? I've never heard that before in my life. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying that's wild. That's wiling out right there. Dang, I was going to set you up with my millipede friend, Sarah. I guess I'll tell her Mike B isn't interested. <laughs> can tell her to take her legs and get the hell out of here. You mean because they're like so small they can't inject you with enough venom or whatever to kill you? That doesn't seem true at all. I don't know how it works. Um... Yeah, because centipedes are the ones that are, like, big. Right? Millipedes are the smaller ones. Get him. But he did not get him. He died. I think we're dead here. Because we're just not hitting land drops effectively. Dude, I didn't even think there were earwigs here. That's weird. I'm going to look up Utah earwig. Tips to get rid of earwigs. The European earwig is common in Utah. Yeah, apparently it's a European earwig. No, I didn't go back to Europe. Get out of here. Yeah, that's exactly yeah, that's exactly it. They're so fucking gross, dude. I had to turn the light on, thanks guys. <laughs> if you get ninety nine more, it's a dollar peed. Wow. You know what, man? Sometimes. 
Let's flip it. You know what? I'll keep you on top. Just auto pay, man. Mm hmm. Time to put a travel ban on your return to Europe. Wow. You only make this, dude? If a black widow bites you and injects poison, there's a very small chance you'll actually die. The ones to really watch out for are brown recluses. Hmm. Or like any spider in Australia. If I barely could handle a skunk, if I ever see a spider as big as my toilet, I would burn the house down and get off the planet. Well, I don't think there's any spiders out there that are as big as a whole toilet. Michael, get off the planet. I will. I am proud of my comrades. What was the nanormal costing pun? The centipede? Because that's pretty funny. guy too, huh? Let's chump a lump. Get, get up and get <coughs> down. Chump around. Is this it? Yeah. Oh, God. How did it get on you, dude? Must have crawled up me. Oh, I can't. Unless they can fly, then. I can't live with this. Tell us all about the spider class system. All right. Let's see if we're dead. The largest spider on Earth can grow up to a food long. What is a food long? You mean a foot? You mean a foot long? One food long. A five dollar food long. <laughs> oh, we can Ilharg and, and sneak in the Stone Cold Serpent. So what I've gotten from this cube is to always pick five C good stuff and just slam bomb after bomb after bomb. Yeah, maybe. Let's seven this guy. Yeah, auto pay it, my dude. Well, they got a they got an un indestructible guy here that we can't really get through, so I guess we're just gonna hope. Wow, that's wild. I, I would have just assumed all black widows were deadly. That's why I'd always heard. And you tell your experience that you don't want to get bit by a Black Widow, it is painful and not a whole lot of fun. I imagine. You know what else isn't a lot of fun? Badail. That's cool, man. I know. We're dead. What's a fiddleback? Oh, Christ. You guys are... Can we stop talking about bugs? Okay, I'm done. Absolutely done. Oh, it's a kind of brown recluse? Yeah, I'm not looking at fucking spiders anymore on the internet, man. <laughs> Do they have little fiddles on their backs? Stop it. You're I'm messing around. 
Well, because I'm worried, like, I'm under, I'm kind of underground. You're upstairs. Mm -hmm. So I'm worried that all the fucking bugs that are like, there's like bugs surrounding me right now under the ground. You know what I mean? I, I get what you're saying. I don't want that. I don't want to live that underground bug life, Michael. You're upstairs. They got to crawl all the way up there to get to you. All they got to do is literally walk. Yeah, but what about wall. wasps? Wasps? Yeah, there's like waspness outside of like my Like non-Jewish people? What? What? What do you mean? I meant the, the bug. Oh, white Anglo-Saxon person? Is that what you mean? Yeah, okay. Yes, Michael. I knew I was going to regret clicking that link. <laughs> Don't do it. There's a spider. Don't do it. I'm not clicking any links in the chat. It literally says spider, doesn't it? It says, like, take a look at this fucking spider. Don't do it. Okay, now stop. That's not real. That's got to be it. That's, gotta be that's what you think. Go, go to Australia. I'll show you. I'll never go there. I don't want to die. Passover is this week being... Wait, how was I not being nice just because I referenced a wasp? That doesn't even... You don't even make sense right now, on drum tuna. Oh, that's gonna be a oh shit! I'm a moron. I'm an actual moron. Can we talk about ambly lips? Nope. No, we cannot. Only if they're a cute animal. They're not. They won't be. They don't sound like a cute. No, animal. they're gonna be disgusting fucking hell creatures. <laughs> I feel like all bugs come from hell. They're going to lightning strike our guy. You ready? 100%. They no. didn't. Meatball peds. Wow. With pepper jack and cheese. <laughs> you got a real problem. Um, this is weird because they could have played this guy post-combat, but I just gained three life because they did not, so that's kind of cool, you know? The only spiders that are cool are like tarantulas. They're just hairy homies. Moths are pretty cool. Hairy homies. <laughs> have you seen those giant moths? Yeah, I love- moths are great. Like moths are like- pan that are like literally like- Bigger than your hand. Moths are like kind of like uncool butterflies, you know? Like, you got butterflies. No, like, some of them look real cool. The giant ones actually, look, they're like colorful. And stuff. Well, they are, but my point is like, moths are like the girl in like never been kissed. Whereas <laughs> butterflies are like the popular girl at school. Oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah. No, I know what you're saying. I got you. Anyone make any cool meals this quarantine? I made some basic stuff. This guy got. Oh, he's got menace? Watch can we talk this. about bats that look like puppies? Watch yeah, this. Yeah, bats can be very cute. Look at how many dogs I'm gonna have. They all got men osseo. Look at my dogs. What you know about my dogs? Moths are derpy? How dare you. On a non-bug related note, can we talk about Tarsiers? I don't know what those are. <laughs> Look at that cutie. He's got them alien eyes, though. I think we just lightning strike this. Uh, Erebus' intervention. The guy's got death touch? No, you don't have death touch. I guess we're killing this guy, so if they have to double block, we still get to kill one of these guys. Stop talking about bugs! Where's Hunter? I think he's sleeping. Actually, no we don't. We just wait to do this, and then we just kill... Yeah, Hunter's probably sleeping. He's Quit talking about bugs and start talking about nugs. <laughs> that is a solid strategy. <coughs> do, do, do. One, two, three, four. 
What up? What nugs are venomous? Wow. Yeah, this is all fine. The ones with the bomb on them. We're at 54 life right now. <laughs> That's a good amount. That's wild, man. You we're think the Naya deck can beat us when we're at 54? I don't think so, man. Especially with these guys that both have Vigilance and next time we get a third one. Yeah, I don't think so, man. This guy with with friggin' Helm on it? Whew, that's a fair magic card, my dude. Just kidding, it is not. Alright, we got one more win to go. Can we do it? Monday's spicy nuggets with creamy sriracha is top tier. I feel like that's too much spice. I like a cooling sauce with my spicy nuggets. I like a cooling sauce. I want a sauce that's gonna cool my nugs down. No, I mean the... I like to put the sauce on my nugs oh my to God, cool them you. down, if you know what I mean. What do you mean? What are you going to say? What's wrong with you? Why are you so mad? But you, spicy nugs why do you have to be mad? I mean, they're not that spicy. It's only game. Dude, fucking earwig on your neck is like not... I'm just... I can't. Yeah, at least it didn't get on your neck. Yeah, I guess. I guess that's a pro. I don't think any, anything feels good when you throw it up. Yeah, because you throw up your stomach acid as well. It's not a good time. It's almost like throwing up is inherently feels bad. Oh, that's, that guy's really annoying. Feels bad, man. Feels Batman. Chicken is a problem. I agree. Uncooked nugs, you'll throw them up. Yep, you got it. Block it. Pop it. Block it. <laughs> That's true. Sometimes you do fill up better afterwards, though. Oh, if I'm gonna get poutine, isn't too bad. That sounds terrible, Phil. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, it's not terrible on the way out. Okay, their guys are real big. I would love a white source here. Uh. 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 Made baked pork chops. I prefer to sear mine in a pan. I'll sear your face in a pan. Please don't. There's nothing you can do about it. Sure, I can. What can you do about it? Stop you. No, you can't. I'm unstoppable, Michael. No, you're not. Michael. This feels wrong. I probably should have killed this with fight. <laughs> Look at Moochel over there. Rich guy can afford a pan. Well, technically, it's not even my pan, so. I shouldn't blo I shouldn't have done this. This is an accident. I'm messing up because I'm getting distracted, guys. <laughs> they were baked in the sauce? Okay. I was literally lost thinking about bugs in this room. And then, like, oh, they didn't. Yeah, they didn't. I was like, oh, they didn't. What kind of sauce no, they were they baked in? I made some butter chicken with rice and veggies and naan. That sounds delicious. You know what else sounds delicious? Gohan. Gohan? Like from Dragon you Ball said Z? Gohan. Yeah, Gohan. No. I didn't no. say that. I did not say Gohan. <laughs> My hobby I'm feeling some craft dinner tonight? Mm. Not a fan. I don't mind craft dinner. I can't stand the processed cheese. A ribeye? It's always a good time. I'm gonna concede here. We can't beat chicken and this other dude. We can't hit a single white source. If we had a white source there, we can go pacifism and like fight with fire, killing both their threats. Oh, Velveeta. steak, but it'd be expensive. My biggest problem with Velveeta shells and cheese, I, I'll, I can handle it, but like it dries up so quickly. Like it's moist for like the first couple minutes and then you're like, oh God, it's so dry now. First, what does that mean? You made mozzarella sticks, like homemade. That sounds good. Another four three. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frank for patreon.com slash frank for cool stuff inc every Wednesday and manatraders.com if you're looking for an awesome deal and an awesome subscription service. You can get twenty percent off the first three months with the link and promo code down below. Be sure to use that. Slam those like and subscribe button, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.